Hey guys, this guys. is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the new 2018 and up F-Series truck. You notice this particular truck has the small four inch display. Um, what we specialize here at infotainment.com are factory upgrades uh, when it comes to the sync system and so much more. So today we're gonna upgrade to the nice sync three system with the embedded navigation. Um, just a really cool upgrade that we offer here um, installation isn't very difficult. I'll just I'll tell you a little bit about how to do that now. Um, first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to shut the vehicle off. A lot of times we recommend to disconnect the negative battery terminal just to make sure there's no power um, going to the uh, stereo system. But in any case, what we're going to start with, this little cubby up here, um, what you're going to do is remove this little rubber tray liner. And then there's two seven millimeter screws here. We're gonna go ahead and remove those. Once you remove those screws, this just comes up. Uh, there's some retainer clips up front here and they just pop out of place. You can remove this tray. Then there's two seven millimeter screws here that hold in this center stack bezel. So we'll remove these two screws. Seven millimeter and then this just pops out of place it's just held in with retaining clips so what we're gonna do is just pop it out there's two connectors in the back here all you do is remove those Now up on top here, there's two uh, series of buttons here, and those are also plugged in in the back here. So we're gonna wanna remove those connectors. Now what we're gonna do is we wanna take these two sets of connectors out and then put them on the, re the replacement bezel that we send to you. It's real easy to do. All we're gonna do is come in from the back here. There's two clips on each side. So we're just gonna wanna push those clips in and then slide the button out and then put it in the same way. It'll snap right into place. Now we're good to go with this particular bezel. So we'll set this aside. Now we're gonna remove the six, seven millimeter screws that hold in our display here. Once the screws are removed, we can remove this and unplug this connector here. We're gonna push this little pin or connector in, then this lever will slide over, and then this connector will come out. This is our USB connector, and then this is our GPS here. We can now set this aside. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to replace this little USB port here. Now the reason why we're gonna replace it, this is our, <clears throat> excuse me, our custom kit here at Infotainment. This is gonna allow us to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So we'll have to replace this hub here. To get a little bit better access to it, we're gonna go ahead and remove these two seven millimeter screws here. And we could kinda pull this out a little bit. This is all just held with retaining clips. And that just gives us a little bit more access. So <clears throat> what I wanted to show you is this little hub here is held in with a, t a tab on the top and then two on the bottom. So what we're gonna wanna do is put our hands in here and then get access to these tabs, push them in and then slide it out. Okay, once that's out, we have these two little tabs 
on the top and bottom of the USB connector and that will release it from this little um, tray here or shield. So we'll set that aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the cigarette lighter which is located right next to it. Once you unplug it, we're going to send you a little pass-through kit here. This is basically what we're doing is we need power and ground for our replacement USB hub. So basically what we're doing is we're just tapping into the power and ground um, on your cigarette lighter so we can just plug it into our new hub. So we'll have that come out here. Now to install the new hub, all we're going to have to do is just plug in this connector here, which again is just power and ground. Then we're going to send you a little conversion cable to make sure the USB goes from um, the larger port down to the mini. And then the mini will plug into our USB port here on the bottom. So again, make sure the one tab is on top, the two are on the bottom. And then this just snaps into place. We can now install the two screws here. All right, now that the USB hub is taken care of, we can now install the SYNC 3 system. We're gonna use all the same connectors from the other system that we initially disconnected. Once we do that, we're gonna use the same six screws to hold in the SYNC 3 system. All right, we now, this, we now have this secured with the six screws. Um, so what we can do is we can kind of just start putting everything back together. Now we can install the bezel that we send you. Now once those are, once you have all your connections there, we can go ahead and remove the screen cover. Pop in our new bezel. We can install the two seven millimeter screws on the top here. As well as our tray on top here. Now some of you may have a connector that would be in here. This is just a dummy connector. Um, all you have to do is remove that. I forgot to mention that initially. snap the two uh, retaining clips in and then we can install the two last screws on the front here. Alright guys, now that everything's buttoned up and back in its place, uh, let's go ahead and start the truck and check it out. Right away, you notice the nice big eight inch screen. I mean, it's just a world of difference between the small little base model system to the SYNC 3 here. Um, as I mentioned, these are all pre-programmed for plug and play. Um, it's not like you can run to the dealer and buy one of these. I mean, the, it, there's, the programming on these is, it takes a long time. So you have to make sure you give us your VIN when you go to our website to purchase it. Give us your VIN so we can make sure that everything's programmed properly, including your steering wheel controls, um, uh, you know, backup camera, which you'll notice here, just a big difference in the camera image between the small screen and the nice big eight inch screen. Um, 
just all sorts of programming that goes involved in this. Um, so be sure to give us your VIN. In any case, uh, let's check it out. So in the audio feature here, we have AM, FM. Now, if you guys want to add satellite radio or HD radio, now's the time to do it. That's an option on our website to add it to your cart, and we'll send you a replacement CD player that has the integrated satellite radio. Um, so be sure to, to do that if, if you're interested in satellite radio or HD radio for that matter. But you have your sources here uh, within the audio. Your phone, you will have to repair your phone to the new Sync 3 system. Um, navigation, now we do have two different styles. We have these with navigation, embedded navigation, and without navigation. Um, that is also an option on our website. Um, but the navigation system here in the Sync 3 is just a phenomenal system. It has all the traditional features a nav system has and more, uh, 3D landmarks, um, you name it. It's just a real cool system. Um, destination inputs, you could save um, your home, work, favorites, all the points of interest you could possibly think of. You can tell it where you want it to go. When it speaks to you through the sounds, um, it'll speak to you through the actual audio system of the truck. It's not like the cheap little ones you put up on the windshield or, or even with your phone for that matter. Um, but that's just a real cool nav feature. Uh, within the apps feature, um, once you pair your phone and, and do the sync, you'll be able to add more apps in this section here. Um, in the settings, um, you can adjust your CarPlay and Android preferences, the vehicle, uh, all sorts of stuff within this menu here. Uh, but before I close, I really wanna just show you guys real quick um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So this is Android Auto. Um, those of you with the Android based systems here, um, you do get the navigation feature through here. Google Maps, it will speak the directions to you. On your way to 733 Bear Creek Circle, traffic is light as usual. Uh, you have your phone. So you can make calls, see who's calling, things like that. Uh, this is your basically your home button. Um, this is for your music, to control your music. And then this is how you return to sync. So those of you who have Android, um, it's, a, it's such a cool feature to have the Android Auto. Um, now those of you with an Apple device, I'll demonstrate now. Apple CarPlay. So similar to the Android device, um, you have these, these keys, whether you wanna do phone call, you push this little button here to return uh, back to the main menu. Um, your Apple Music, your Maps, Apple Maps. Similar to the Android device, it will take you and speak to you through the speakers, which is pretty cool. Uh, messaging. Um, this will bring you back to the, the main sync menu. You can go back in by pressing that. Pandora, Spotify, whatever you want, you can you could set up through here, which is really cool. Um, but in any case, um, we do this upgrade and so much more at uh, infotainment.com. Um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, obviously, is one of our biggest upgrades here with the F-Series trucks. Um, but we can also do front cameras, rear cameras, cargo cameras, um, side cameras, all sorts of cool stuff. As I mentioned, satellite radio upgrades, HD radio, uh, you name it. So come check us out at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching, guys.